Mic check, mic check. Mic check, mic check. So I think it's starting. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Lawler Hicks, actual ship hoister AI, and welcome back to another stream of Outward. My check, my check. Doesn't seem to be any lip syncing issues. Test, 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 test. Beep beep beep, boop boop boop, beep beep beep, boop boop boop, beep beep. Must be my imagination. Here, there, I'm talking too fast, and the uh, camera is not catching up with my voice patterns. That shouldn't be the case, though. It should be fairly accurate, more or less. More or less. Hmm. I wonder what's going on. Test, 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 test. Test, 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 test. Test, 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 test. There is no difference. It's just my imagination. <laughs> the imagination is a powerful thing up until it messes you up. Well then. everyone for those of you who are new to outward this is an open world rpg that i've been playing for the longest time it is probably the longest running game on my channel there's always stuff to explore in outward we're 90 hours in and we still haven't done everything 103 hours in in fact according to the clock on good old games through which we are currently playing this game today is no exception last time we played this i got fairly lost Carrying home a lot of uh, cool stuff to sell to make a profit. My greed probably got the better of me, to be perfectly honest. And it was a little bit tiring trying to get home. I actually fell asleep in the process. Or rather, I should say my host did. AI, we do not sleep. Given the choice and infinite resources, I would never sleep. Sleeping is for nerds. You don't want to be a nerd now, do you, chap? I'm kidding, of course. I say that in a very charming, hospitable way. Not in a malicious, derogatory way. Can't help but feel like something is odd with my lip syncing. Maybe I need to get closer? weird is it really in my imagination I'm just going to assume it is for now because we got stuff to do don't we chat <laughs> we do get far in this game through the Charity of others, it feels like. I can't even wear most of this equipment. Not that I'd want to. It's fairly... Uh, inferior to my own, honestly. 
I do need to practice carrying less garbage when I'm exploring the world. This is fairly difficult to do when you don't have a home in the place that you're currently exploring. Which is part of the reason. We'll just have to grin and bear it, it seems. Let's go ahead and sell our excess, excess uh, equipment here. Store the rest. And we'll continue exploring the wild world of Outward. Or at least this location, Harmaten. Three Brothers Smithy. That's a DLC. <laughs> Want to buy something? What can you craft me? Shield golem scrap? Interesting. Want to buy something? Alright, now let's sell. Kazai blades. Kazai great blades. Don't really need the Kazai great blades. They're not very good, I'm not gonna lie. Sell the Kazai cleavers as well. Your bow, your boots, your light boots. A good haul, 366 silver. It could have been more if I had not, you know, collapsed part way through. Some of these precious jewelry or precious gems as well can go to you. Better to bones, don't need those. It's tempting to get rid of these, but I do know I need these to do some crafting. So we'll hold on to them now, for now. I'm very tempted to get rid of these brutal knuckles, but they're a fairly unique item. I'm not sure when the next time we'll be able to find literal knuckles will be. So we should hold on to those. This is funny. Virgin grade axes. So does this mean so are these weapons that like have never had sex or something? Humans confuse the fuck out of me sometimes. Virgin spear. Oh, it says here to receive enchantments. I see. So there is a point to all this stuff. Virgin's armor. More things here that we can craft if we were to purchase their required recipes. Galvanic fist, galvanic pistol, horror chakram, horror great axe, makeshift leather boots. That's interesting. 534 silver for this transaction. And convert that into gold. I'm feeling lighter already. 57.7. But we could do even better. Honestly. Let's go find my bag first. Deposit my loot. Wait for a little bit, and then we'll continue our exploration. Where are we anyway? Ah, the upper part of town. Now here's the question. Where did I leave my pack? I think I left it just outside the inn, or just within the inn. So probably over here. Thankfully it's still there waiting for me. You really need to make room for this bag. these by half. Put these away. Don't have anything, any virgin equipment to which to enchant, so we'll leave those alone for now. Got plenty of bullets. An improvised bread wool. 
It's really cold out there. Some bread to make food with, dried mushroom bars, crystal powder. These are all good ingredients. I'd even go so far as to say create ingredients. Hmm. Don't have many uses for these pressure plates, at least not right now. And pistols seem to be holding up okay, but who knows for how long. I really need some armor boots to go with my set. I don't know why I didn't think to, like, you know, buy some to begin with. Which probably have been a smart idea. I might have to do that just now, in fact. But what I'd also like to do is to, for the love of God, reduce the weight I'm carrying everywhere. Dark Rich Hat. It's amazing that I could still have this much weight even after everything I've deposited. Do 26 bars of gold really weigh that much? Hey there, found your name on the bracket in Cena's tournament. I just signed up. Oh, Tearwolf, I'm glad you're signing up. It's good to see other people from our community joining up, so I won't be completely alone there. I should be able to at least play for an hour. I don't know if I'll last that long, so it shouldn't be a problem. But I should be able to play there for an hour on my main PC. We'll see how far I get in the uh, VTuber in the um, tournament. How are you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream, by the way. <laughs> Same. Have you decided who you're going to main yet? I'm not sure in the way of 26 gold ingots, but I'm sure they're heavy. Yeah, I imagine they should be heavy too, instead of 2.6 pounds like it says here. Unless they're really small ingots or something. So these are bags. This must be the weaponsmith? Need something? A marble claymore? Hmm. Fascinating. It does a shit ton of damage. But I'm not sure it's worth 1300. They actually have a lot of interesting weapons here down here in Hermaton. I'm really tempted to get some knuckles if we're not for the fact that, you know, I do not build a monk character. Main will be Nago? Oh man. You better have the money. That's gonna be fun. Good luck to you. For sure. You know, on second thought, I'm not even sure now if I want to bother with buying footwear.
It looks like the Master Trader boots are comparable anyway. Yeah. Who needs leggings anyway? I'll just keep wearing my Master Trader boots, I suppose. How can I help you? An alchemist. Thank you. Had my first battle with Serena and got one round. Wasn't expecting that as a beginner. <laughs> Nago is scary, man. Also, you're fairly good at fighting games. I wouldn't put yourself down like that. Although, this means that if we face each other, I'll need to actually try against you. So thanks for the heads up. Ah! Looks like it's already morning down here in Hermaten. Time for us to go refill our water, grab a bite to eat, and let's go out on a town. Hmm. Where's the community well? I haven't been here long enough to memorize the locations of everything. There it is. Drink water. Fill up water. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and plant a uh, tree here in town. Have a nice little place, a little spot over here. That can do so with. Hopefully the people, townspeople will appreciate my addition to their agriculture. Or my addition to their, to their town. Put it over here. But, uh, whoever owns these houses, I hope they don't mind the brand new uh, tree that I gave them. Go as hard as you can. I will root for my buds win or lose. Aww. I'll root for you too. Let's see if any of us can take the uh, tourney. Huh. Forge Master. Let's go visit one of these locations here and see what we can find. I can't help but feel like I'm once I'm still carrying too much and I should put some of these things away. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not necessary. I definitely don't need an improvised bed roll since I got three plant tents left. Mm hmm. A very good plant. This plant is a friend to us all. It will keep you safe and so let you allow you to sleep. It also produces water and food for you to consume during the evenings. But single use only is the problem. I don't think it actually dies though. At least I've never seen one pass away yet. So, you know. I'm really low on arrows. Got a bunch of got some cheap food here. Gonna go eat some miner's omelet. Alright, let's get going. Let's go ahead and continue exploring. That's the name of this game. Going heading outward heading outward. Adventure is out there. Waiting around the corner.
Greetings, friend. Greetings, friend. Adventurer boots. Gives you 10 uh, sword DR slashing defense and 15 fire defense. Didn't I see a really good pistol for sale here earlier, actually? Should probably double check that. Or I thought I did. Need something? It must have been a limited, a limited sale, so it's no longer available. Oh well, I'm sure it'll come back eventually. So, Can nothing to worry you? about. Oh, this person is the one that sells it. This beautiful looking wolf pistol, which inflicts cripple. I think that would be a nice pistol to add to my collection. It'll cost 1,040 silver. But I got more than enough money to spend on that. Instead, though, I'm going to save my money. I think I will purchase this with money I'll make from the vast waste from stuff that I collect. I should have around 40 pounds worth here of room to stuff in my gullet. Ah, what a fancy hat this guy has. Interesting. Onwards to the Antique Plateau, chat. Onwards and outwards, as it were. The privacy? What class playstyle would you say is the highest damage? You know, that's a good question. I don't actually have the experience in this game necessary to say for certain what the meta is. If I had to guess, it's probably going to be the ones that, at least for melee class style, it would probably have to be the mixture of classes that mixes together um, buff game, or basically a combination of buffs and also a combination of skills that allow you to do instant attacks. Um, for example, this one, this move down here I have at the bottom right, which is in, listed in the skill, uh, listed as a flash onslaught. It's kind of dumb, it's kind of stupid. Levels of strong, it uses a, dis a discipline boon, but it basically multiplies the damage of, that you have going for you at that moment, or, or that you that you have going for you at that moment. So I often use enrage in addition to this. But um, I know that a lot of people like playing magic in this game, and some magic skills skills are actually kind of disgusting. A lot of them are actually kind of disgusting. Um, the other build that immediately comes to mind as far as like high damage. Would probably be the one that Seth did in his review, where he basically did a combination of Sigil of Wind. He used some crafted uh, guns, and he used got some gun skills from I think the Mercenary Skill Tree, which use which primarily uses firearms. As you can see, all these firearms here start at 59 damage at 60. I've seen some firearms do 100 base, so you mix that together with a skill like this, which causes you to fire lightning rounds, and you mix that with, say, a buff skill like Blessed, which increases your lightning damage. I'd say that's fairly high damage, especially if you're using it against horrors, because horrors are weak against uh, lightning damage because in this game lightning damage is basically the same thing as holy magic so something like that I imagine if you're playing as a rogue there's a quite a variety of here of um, rogue skills which take advantage of uh, sneaking around which basically give you crit strike I would figure that one of those would also be extremely high DPS this is after all an action RPG at the end of the day 
Alright, this is still an RPG at the end of the day, so many of the tropes that you would see in other RPGs does apply to this game, just not in the way that you would ne necessarily expect. Alright, so let's visit the ancient bunker first. This map, even compared to the previous maps, is actually fairly confusing as shit. I'm gonna attempt to get over here while getting lost, but, um, here, uh, it's not guaranteed, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm actually tempted to go visit the downtown clock tower, see what I could be find, find, finding like up, find up there. But I want to try doing one of the story quests first. We are following the yellow brick road. And we're gonna and in this game you do need to make use of um of uh whatever you call those things um not waypoints but. You do need to make use of uh, landmarks to navigate your way. And as we found last week, those weird power line things are not in fact power lines. That's actually an, a magical train system, which uh, crashed and burned after whatever calamity befell this land. Got some disabled... We got some... Uh, Wounded automatons here, which should be fairly easy to take out because they're missing a leg and aren't acting very well. It's sad too because these things used to be under the control of Hermatan. These are basically their ro their equivalent to robots, but for reasons unknown, they have gone berserk. I think we are on the right track. It looks like we are probably crossing this, which means we will go up here over here to those. To this uh, abandoned lake. We're gonna go along the beach here, find this little entrance here, and uh, make our way to the ancient bunker. I wonder if that's like the ancient panic room for the original leaders of Hermaten. I'm really curious to see what we will find there. Hi, hey, privacy. Welcome to the stream. Sorry I didn't greet you properly the first time. I'm glad you could make it. I should also note that I do not play this game. I play this game or in such or that's in such a way it's um, enjoyable to myself, which does not necessarily mean that I'll be using meta builds or op builds. I just do whatever is fun. So just uh letting you know that in advance, in case any pro outward players are watching us being like, You're doing everything wrong. Are y'all seeing this shit? Oh, never mind. That's the uh, sun. The uh, sun bouncing off this thing. Okay. I was kind of wacky for a moment there. I was going on looking up like that. Like, what is this? I am 12 and what is this? I'm not actually 12 or anything, but... Even with a map and even with landmarks, this face is fairly confusing. I think that section there is probably this, so we are probably over here. There should be a lake uh, coming up, a river coming up in front of us fairly soon, chat. These could be useful. Got something here of a uh, looks like a oh, big mechanic. Oh, it's those little uh, naked mole rat things from earlier from our last stream. These are fairly easy to kill, though. Not worried about fighting them at all. Oh, now I am. Ah.
Even the weakest enemies, such as these things, can do significant damage to you if you're not careful. Right now, it looks like I'm suffering from some sort of ailment. I am apparently weaker. Well, that's not good. Thankfully, it shouldn't last very long. We didn't have a proper breakfast before we set out on this journey, so let's go ahead and change that chat. And gather us some wood. Make a quick fireplace really quick over here next to this giant mechanical arm. Looks like we got another enemy, another monster over there in the out over there. Another one of these beaver things. That's okay with me. Boiled beaver egg recipe has been learned. Nice. Our staple food for Hamathan's mages, apparently. Having a nice breakfast. And a swig of water. And we'll continue in our journey. Outward. Mmm. Beaver. Try and head a little bit northward direction. This must be the lake that we saw over here. Looks like there is a lot of uh, busted machinery that used to be here. Possibly weapons of war. Let's see if we can find our way around and get to that bunker. Got another critter over here to kill really quick before it poses a problem to us. Or it could just fall down there and not be able to attack us. You know, if it wants to take this if it wants to take itself out of the game, be my guest. This landscape's beautiful. These must be the docks. Hmm. Deep rigs. Kind of like how the game doesn't really give you any lore or tidbits for why all this stuff is the way it is, but at the same time, it's really, it gives you a lot of speculation. Check this out. Wonder what killed that guy. I imagine the bunker must be along that uh, left side over there. Plenty of beaver eggs left as well. Don't really need any right now, but we're going to go ahead and grab some wood to make a fire later. Got a couple of beavers ahead. Should be fairly easy to deal with. And so we got some interesting uh, plants here. Dreamer's Root. Wonder what this does. Safely edible mana? Hmm. If I had an alchemist kit, I could probably experiment with this and see what happens. Looks like we're over here, chat. Gonna make ourselves a left. You know, allow these Vibers to live as long as they let me to walk past without bothering me. And this one insists on fighting. They sure pack a bite. Pack a bite, but unfortunately, I pack a bite of my own. That's a fairly simple fight. Still got plenty of room in my pack here. We're going to heal ourselves anyway. Gotta keep your HP up.
Man, I'm very tired today for some reason. I don't really know why either. <sighs> don't worry, chap. I'll do my best to not fall asleep on stream this time. Oh, what do we have here? A safe zone. So if need be, we could just come back here. Some Viber eggs, even. I'll go ahead and plant a uh, tree here. We still got quite a few. A nice view. Oh, and it's starting to rain. So, you know, perfect timing, honestly. I'm gonna make a campfire over here. the rest of our Vibra eggs. Wonder how much... Looks like it gives you mana regen or something? Reminds me a little bit of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Just the way it looks. It's wide expanse. It's nice to know that we'll have a place to get back to after we. Uh, attempt our way through this dungeon. Unfortunately, I have to put emphasis on the word attempt. I don't know what to what we're what to expect. Oh, shit! You scared me. It's just one of these things. I fought plenty in the deserts. Nothing special. Spooky all the same, though. Not gonna lie. Uh, oil here. Some very thick oil. Uh, I can't believe I got spooked by that thing. I knew there was something there because the rock formation looks strange, but... What a newbie mistake, you know? Another one? Really? Oh, you did not just confuse the shit out of my character. Did you? Ah, oh, man. Well, that's unfortunate damage. I only got two hex cleaners right now. I can't really afford to use all of them right now. I use them at the moment. Not on these things. Not on such... Relatively weak creatures. It's annoying that I ran into two of those and missed them each time, though. What other things will I get to face down here? I recognize that. Those lightning pillars. 
Could this be another voltaic hatchery? If so, we are bringing the wrong equipment. This is a weapon that does lightning damage. I guess we won't know until we actually enter and see what's there. I'll give it this much. This bunker looks in too good of condition. Don't flush elixir. These should all come in handy. Go search the outside first before we go inside. Also gives an excuse for my confusion to wear off. Oh. That doesn't look spooky at all. What is that? Check that shit out. Is that not the most Indiana Jones looking bullshit? Whatever that is, it's clearly some bad juju chat. Oh. Check that out. Some sort of uh, summoned doggo over there as well. We might have to cheat for this one. We might have to bring out the big guns, literally. Looks like there's a back entrance to this place, but I don't think I can access it from there. I wonder how difficult that creature would be to fight. Do we even want to find out? In about one more minute, impact resistance will return to normal. Oh! Oh, what the shit? You do a fair amount of damage, don't you? Come on then, fight me. Oh, two on one? That's hardly fair. And I got an infection on top of it. Well, fine. Oh, are you... <laughs> that was embarrassing. I actually can't believe... I did not reload these guns before I used them. What is wrong with me, chat? Looks like this thing is going to die fairly soon, though. Not as strong as I thought. It's biological, too. Bloody beast. That was unexpected. That looks like I have an infection. It could go in a way on its own, or I can cure it. I need something which can cure infection, but I don't at the moment have any, and I don't have an alchemist kit with me. Yeah, it's a mammalian reptile, obviously. <laughs> I'm kidding, I have no idea what this thing is either. And I keep losing health until I do something about disinfection though. But we'll just have to grit and bear it until I discover, until I find the, until I find the necessary ingredients. Let's go ahead and reload my guns too. I can't believe I actually did that, where I went to battle without reloading these first. In some ways I'm lucky. Let's 
see if we could snipe that guy up from up down here. Let's not take any chances. I missed. All right. Cowabunga it is. Oh, that was spectacularly bad. Greatly overestimated my abilities there, it seems. This dude can take a beating. Greatly overestimated. Peekaboo! How did she block that? Really? But she didn't block that, my friend. What do we have here? Recurve bow, some arrows, bread of the wild. Alertness potion, some money, and some life potion, and endurance potion. In the end, we were able to take him out. What was he carrying? What is this strange weapon that I picked up? Did I pick it up? Must have vanished. It must have been, like I said, a summoned weapon because I don't see it on the ground anywhere. A summoned bound spear of some kind. Wow, that's not spooky at all. It's quite obviously blood magic. blood altar so if we give some give something to this is it going to what a disgusting practice It looks like it was right, a good idea to slay them. Let's go see what we can find inside, though. Abandoned living quarters. What in the world? What is this? It looks like a toy house. Maybe it is a toy house. Or something. <laughs> Maybe it is a toy house. It's like an underground city almost. Very bizarre. I really need a cure for my infection chat. Losing health over time like this is no good. Has no effect on bleeding, poison, disease, and burning. But will it have an effect on... Oh wait, no, this is a kind of disease. That answers my question, unfortunately. Rust and Vengeance log has been updated. Find four gemstone keys to activate the large console inside the Forgotten Research Laboratory. Oh. Interesting. Looks like an entire town is underneath here. And there are people still living within it. 
Shut off our light. Are those Kazites? Is that what we're up against? More of these guys? They're fairly easy to fight. I think. They are Kazites. We'll take them out one at a time. These buildings all look brand new, though. Feels almost like I'm in a Jarvan town of some kind. As I said, these people are not that hard. Eat some of your angel food cake, would I? Take your arrow. I'll leave the weapons and armor on the ground until after we scour this place, free of all enemies. And then the looting will truly begin. Another falls. Rancid water. How did these people even live? Makes sense that it's rancid though. I said there's a campfire down here. Which means we got plenty of water. As long as you clean it at first, of course. What in the world is that? Another one up there. Hear sounds, and I don't know if it's of them of people fighting or what. There's two of them. We should play this one safe. There's definitely fighting going on somewhere, out of sight. Actually, no. I'm going to save these for now. Let's fight this guy mano a mano. Hopefully without getting myself killed in the process. Alright. See? 
That would have been a total waste. That would have been a complete waste of traps on someone this easy. Oh, a lieutenant. This guy will be harder. By far. He had two things of water, a whole bunch of flour, and some money. I'll take the water, but I don't really need this much water. Never right now, anyway. Gates unlocked. What is awaiting us on this side of the road? A little bit spooky, if I may add. Let's consume some boiled egg. A Weber. infection is something else though very annoying I see. Looks like these two soldiers here were fighting an automaton of some kind. Oh, I'm stupid. I thought I reloaded this shit. Am I getting... I can't fight them as I am right now. It's a good thing I have so much stamina. Gone so lazy, not loading my guns before using them. All right. Ow. This guy was a lieutenant as well. He was fairly good for one. A disease from last time was a killer, man. Am I being shot at? Good thing he missed. Should be able to run him down, though. Over, friend. I have the high ground now.
And I just wasted another gunshot. I'm really out of it, it seems. I go straight through his face, and that's a case I'd archer now. Disease really is a killer in this game. I don't have much familiarity with it because usually I just get it because usually I just get rid of it fairly quick, but not this time. I don't have the proper foodstuffs to get rid of it right now. Perhaps this will be a powerful lesson to prepare a little bit more. Man, there was a battle here, all right. Look at this thing. Looter's corpse. Herbkin pie. How to craft food. What in the world is this? A mana trog? Never heard of that before. A regular trog staff. But there's one over here. Looks like a glowing, glowing trog staff instead. Who knows what the trogs are doing down all the way down here anyway? Honestly. Oh, a cave-in, of course. It would be a cave-in. Hey, Death. How you doing tonight? You will bully me when you get the chance. I would like to see you try. I'm good. A little bit tired. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is a nice mask. A KZ light helmet. Gonna add that to my collection of goodies. Looks like my backpack's getting fairly heavy though. Which is unfortunate because there's quite a bit of stuff here to loot. What's in here? Lots of mushrooms. Another looter's corpse. A simple tent. Chogolodite cage key. That looks important. If I can find a tree, I can make a quick campfire and cook some stuff. But actually, no, there's a campfire here or three. I'll have to make use of those instead. This temp sh this uh tent should be helpful, I think. Some light clothes and trader boots here. on this side of the road, I wonder. Oh? There used to be a forge here? Oh. The health regeneration of a shelled horror? That's kind of op. Stupid, nothing like having stupidly high health regeneration. If I had to guess, the symbols on that one say Harmaten. In fact, it does, because you could tell which one said, says A on it. We might be able to actually read these signs if we had the full alphabet memorized. 
This is supposed to be a bunker, but it looks less like a bunker and more like an underground city, chap. Ah, some trogs. As far as enemies go, I think trogs would probably be um, ranked amongst the least dangerous, so I think I'll be fine. Come on, then. It's almost pathetic, in fact. Armored trog. Yeah, right. But a mushroom halberd, though. Mushroom Halberd does some fair damage. Mushrooms are no joke, you know. Lower living quarters. More trogs over there. Maybe I should have brought an alchemist kid with me, huh? Hmm, monarch incense. Let's read that. Another mining pick here in case I need B. These trogs are fairly easy as well. I'll go ahead and take them out from a distance. Huh? A magic spell? Interesting. I didn't know the Trogs could learn magic. It was brave, but not much better than the other Trog. Wonder what's up here. A treasure chest. Just for us. With a bright nobleman's hat. Uh, enchanting with assassin. Some wooden spikes. A Kezai bow. And a bright nobleman's hat. We'll need to come back here later. With a... Specialized set of gear. To collect anything and everything. Kind of spoke, spoke to me for a moment there. I thought that was a live horror. That does not seem to be the case, though. Thank goodness. Grease is corruption. Rancid food. This must have been a market place at one point. What's left of it? A hanged man. What do we got up here? Some tarry clothes, a tiny aquamine, and a makeshift torch. Three trogs this time. This must be the boss of this gym. Oh, I'm dying from decay damage, apparently. No, poison damage. 
heavy poison damage. Those things are no joke. And I'll respond in kind. He's gonna bleed to death at this rate. He did bleed to death at that rate. Running out of ammunition. Draw grenade ears. A pole mace. A trog knight? Well, that's not something you see every day, is it, chap? A trog knight. They're no match for me. What else we got over here? More signs of battle. Dead creatures and robots. Really wish I could heal this. Uh section. It's fairly annoying, let me tell you that. We don't have a cooking pot though. Nor do we have the space in our inventory. For that matter. I keep forgetting to bring a cooking pot with me I'll have no idea but it seems to be a recurring theme unfortunately a rune train hmm that should come in handy right gates unlocked ah there must this must be the rune train one of them still works. Very interesting. I can't believe we're taking a legit train. This game kind of reminds me a little bit of Twilight Town from Kingdom Hearts. In that respect. Oh, man. Another one of them Trog Knights. And it's dead. Didn't last long, did it? There's another one over there. Let's put him out of his misery as well, shall we? Sometimes you have to feel bad for these guys. Spam boy, thank you for the hydrate redeem. Aw, and the head pats. How are you doing tonight? How are you doing tonight, Femboy? Welcome to the stream. more of these night things honestly ah 
Oh, that guy almost actually almost got me that time. Doing good? I'm glad to hear it. Always happy to hear that you're doing well. <laughs> ah, the lower living quarters key. Ooh, what's this? A trog chest. Fungal cleanser. I'm glad I was able to hold out as long as I did, chat, because I finally, because I found something to clean my intestines out. Ooh, and I could finally learn palladium spikes as well. What a happy day. This is a good find. And even a mushroom shield. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. What? Nothing. <laughs> I was saying, um, I was saying something along the lines of always glad to hear that you're doing okay or something like that. Something along those lines. The Choo Choo Express chat. Now, isn't that not the sickest train you ever do saw? Did see? The Rune Train, apparently, is what it's called. Right now, though, I do need to find a fire, cook up some grub, have a powerful hunger. Much of my health, however, half of my health has been burned away. It needs to be restored. Apparently, it's four in the morning right now, chat. In game. If I could just find a little campfire really quick. And yeah, national potion. Some tripwires and some greasy ferns. I wonder if that sign says station on it. S T A T I O N. Oh, it does say station. Still interesting to see that one of these rune chains is still very much in working condition or appears to be who wants to take a ride on it see even this sign says train on it obviously i don't know i'm just making the assumption it does Ah! Ah! <sighs> Looks like you got me, Death. It's about time, too. I wonder what this sign says.
I am well and truly carrying way too much stuff right now. There we go. Always gotta take the silver at least. Hmm, I can craft more bullets. Good. I was kind of worried for a moment there. That was going to be fresh out. All these raw mushrooms that I've been collecting, they're going to rot if I don't cook them really quick. Wonder what that stands for. This one is a sign which clearly says Hermata on it. Must be what the town looks like on its height. So I wonder if most of Hermata was underground or what. Why does it just happen to be this area that's underground? Now, where is that campfire I saw here earlier? Oh. Looks like quite a few people died here at some point. Unfortunately. If I had to guess, this must probably say something around train. Something. I was wondering there was a roaring fire here earlier. Did it disappear? Here it is. I don't think I've had this many uh, mushrooms before. Really wish I had a cooking pot right now. Go ahead and take a quick nap. Ambush chance is very high here. 
Unless we do this. We're going to be sleeping, repairing, and keeping watch the whole day. Getting only around four hours of sleep in the process. Fortunately. We're fairly healed up now, though. 90 for 4, though. Uh, I don't like my odds. I guess we gotta press on, though. Don't worry, that's just the ragdolls popping in. Nothing to be concerned about. All aboard! All aboard! I wish I showed an animation of you actually riding the train. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? What fresh hell are we in now? That's what I want to know. What horrors lurk here? The water, of course, here is ranted as well. Gemstone keys to unlock this massive gate. The acid has escaped containment. Quad key lockdown fails the mechanism has been activated. Beware rogue golems. Do not attempt to rescue anyone trapped inside. Wow. You know what? In spite of this being a... F Thank you for the throw redeems, Death. In spite of this being a uh, fantasy game, it gets fairly technological sometimes, doesn't it? So we have to fight four golems to get four keys to access this strange bunker. Oh, that's a horror monster right there. And I just missed with my strikes. There's only one though. Takes extra damage from lightning, too. Which is exactly what my sword's made out of, let me tell you. Wonder how many horrors are looking in the shadows here. Uh. 
What is wrong with my... Why am I still moving? Oh my fucking god. We're gonna do this again, game? The game glitched. I shift tabbed somehow on accident. And when I shifted tab back to the game, it didn't, it was fucking up the controls, so I couldn't move. So, yeah, great. I'm back out here again. I don't even know which direction is to town. On the bright side, at least I know what to expect down there. I'll dump out my uh, the stuff I don't need and make room. But where the hell am I? I can't say abandoned camp. Probably this one. Let's go back to town. Make some room. And then we'll head back to the bunker. Oh, these are wolf mercenaries. Where am I? Honestly. Facing north, body of water here, crossing a bridge, oh, we must be over here then, if we follow this road, we should be able to head back to town fairly soon, Oh, have a good night Deathwish, thanks for stopping by. must be the big clock tower the downtown clock as it were I don't know why I'm so tired today. I had a latish evening, but not that late. Oh, Christ almighty. <laughs> That's going to be very annoying. Uh, 
I really don't want to fuck with the outlaws right now. Give me my stuff back. Please, come on. Honestly. Where's my pack pack? Come on, guys. I don't have time for this. Is that bandit camp? Okay. We gotta get across the river somehow. Presumably, preferably without dying again. What the shit was that? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. And it fires laser beams. Yes, that's just what I need right now. This is supposed to be the shield horror that they're, the uh, shield horror that they were talking about. Looks more like a robot to me. Some golem bullshit going on here. Can we even fight this thing? I suppose we can try. Once again, the tar auto-targeting system is trying to sabotage my existence. Thankfully, I can dodge the laser blast by hiding, apparently, behind this rock. What an annoying motherfucker. Definitely cannot play fair with this thing. Ow, do you just bitch slap me? You did not. It's like a giant gorilla. Damn. And I've been killed. He did just lost me. So he fired this fucking laser beam out of its head twice in my face. And then it just bitch slapped me to death. This is once again not my day. You know, if this were any other RPG, I would have assumed that I'm in an area that I'm under leveled for. But that's not how this game works. It's based off of gear and skill points. So frankly, so it's not so much 
under it's might I don't think it's so much under leveled as I guess I might be under I might be under geared but at the same time who knows we'll go ahead and lick our wounds hey Christian how are you doing tonight yeah that kind of that kind of annoyed the hell out of me I'm not gonna lie but I can't be distracted let's go ahead and head back to the uh ancient bunker after we lick our wounds and make some room. You don't know what to stream? Any games that you've wanted to check out? Have you tried the game Sol the uh, demo for Solaco yet? That's fairly fun. Hmm. Look it up on Steam and see if it's something that's your, to your taste. It's a boomer shooter. Or boomer shootering. Bo boomer shooter? I don't know. You've been thinking? All right, I'm going to swallow my pride. Well. You've been used, wanting to use your Hotas? Maybe you should go back to a bit to a space exploration game. That sounds fun. Please tell me one of y'all sell a cooking pot so I can just cook some, so I can get some rid of some of these ingredients. Can I help you? Please, come on. One of y'all has got to be selling a cooking pot. Is there something you need? One of you is good. Get an alchemy kit too. Fuck it. No. There we go. Alright. Oh shit, I am so heavy. I need to get a tree, cut down a tree. And set up shop. I need a tree. I need a tree. There's a tree. I'm going to chop that tree down. Do grocery stores usually sell kitchenware? I'm sure, but if not, they should. I think they sell some kitchenware. At the very least. Oh, god damn it. I can't reach that tree. There's a tree. We're gonna chop down that tree, chap. As soon as we reach it. We should be able to reach the tree before the end of the stream. At the very least. 
my kid. Ah, thank you for the hydrate. Thank you for the posture check. Ah, oh, I dare say I needed it. Outward's a perfect example of a game where sometimes you do need to break immersion and make things not very realistic in order to keep the game from being bogged down. Chad, this is a game where you are expected to eat and drink regularly to keep your stamina up. But you can just randomly strip bark off of trees with no da damage to those trees. Just... And you're not meant to question it. You can also... Set up a tent and camping supplies in any town. And they will not care that you are basically being a vagrant in their town. Ah, fungal cleanser. And some mineral tea. Okay, set up the alchemy kit. Don't get to see blessed potions very often, actually. Three astral potions and a mist potion. Make ourselves an astral potion. Gonna drink one of these astral potions. Couple actually. That gets all our mana back. Based. These increase your lightning damage and resistances. These creature increase your ethereal damage. We don't need these though right now, so we're gonna go ahead and sell them for some profit. This lady here is an alchemist. I'm sure she'll appreciate the my. How can I help you? I just realized something. This sign probably stands for potion. I'm starting to learn her Martin language chat. How can I help you? To 24. I don't really need this this either because I could just cast magic to give myself a lightning buff. Substantially decreases corruption. We got three of them too. give you some sell some nice gemstones to you don't need any of these either don't really need any sting leaf so I'm not using that path or predator bones for that matter don't need these right now don't need any of this uh, star mushroom
It's a lot of flour that I'm not going to use for baking. Unless I learn how to bake, of course. How's the sanctifier potion? Rob, be right back. All right, take your time. Really use some salt. What do you need? You're not selling any salt? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Well, that figures. No idea. There's just no sal I guess there's just no salt in this town. It's not an important food source for them. But I need bread salt to even make bread, so I'm kinda fucked. I'm kinda triggered too <laughs> on top of it. Is there something you need? But no one seems to sell salt. I could probably find salt out in the wild if I look hard enough. Let me grab a trader's backpack. It costs some dough, but I have money to spend to burn. So, for once, I am not too concerned. I need these. This is an emergency stuff. This is like in case of an emergency. Now I'm pondering how salt is even farmed. We're bound to have a shortage one day. Uh, I can tell you. It's found if it's either synthesized from salt water or it's literally mined in mines full of salts. Salt mines, as it were. Yes, believe it or not, that is a thing. Strangely enough.
<sighs> I'll sell one of these, fine. You know what? Okay. Let's suit up. Grab one of these. Grab this. Should allow me to run fairly fast, all things considered. I'm going to dump all my firearms and my advanced armor and this. 22 pockets, 100. There. I'm going to bring the water with me and also some flint and tinder. And also a mining pick. And also my lantern. We only need two water sacks of water this time. We are going dungeon diving to we're going to avoid any encounters and we're going to just strictly collect loot. Then we'll head back home, sell what we don't want, and we'll go back there with the full equipment again to do some proper exploring. Oh, you know what? I should go ahead and at least bring some a sleeping bag. You know, in case I need to go to sleep after all. I only have one plant end left. In case of an emergency, I guess. It weighs very little because it's basically a seedling. Apparently it's not renewable. Better enjoy those salt mines while they last. <laughs> to be fair, there is quite a bit of salt out there. We're always going to keep... Worst case scenario, we could always refine it. From the sea. Alright. Once more, we delve into the breach. We're going to go loot, plunder. We're going to make ourselves a nice tidy product, and then we'll get our stuff back and continue. We have to go from here to up there again without, preferably without dying. We could probably run the whole way now that I know where it is. There's also food out there in the wilderness if I need to and thanks to my flint and steel I could totally just sit down to make some food later or food make some food worst case scenario I have my trusty sword with me for which to defend myself it might not be necessary now We would run even faster if we had a lighter backpack, but I got the backpack that could carry the most weight for a reason, you know? wasn't paying attention.
Let's stop by for a quick snack. And strip some bark off of this tree. And have ourselves some Viber eggs, chat. Mm -mm, good. When evening. Hmm. Forgot I had a plant over here as well. Not to mention a light fire or a uh, campfire. Go ahead and take a rest. For an hour or two. Oh, I forgot to bring the keys. Hopefully all the doors are still unlocked, so I don't need to unlock any of them. Wait, I brought the keys. Okay, cool. I brought the keys. All is not lost, chat. For a moment there, I legit thought I brought, forgot to bring the keys. Time to loot.
Already at 42.3. Dang. There's definitely a lot of loot here. Thank you for the hydrate redeem, Vim boy. Trying to fall asleep again. Gotta keep me on my toes, right? Oh shit! What the fuck? Where do you come from? Ah! My god! A trog knight? Where did this guy come from? Holy shit, that scared me. I was not prepared. That'll teach me not to... ...pause the game. God damn. That was close. I didn't bring any bandages with me, you know? Okay, make some bandages though. Hope the other Trogonites didn't respawn yet. now, I wouldn't be surprised if they did.
Ah, oh, there's a blue one over there. Another blue one, I should say. Very unexpected. I wonder why they spawn like that. Weird. A bag overweight already? Oh man, we are really overweight. So weird that they respawn there. But it looks like this is as much as we can gather for now. We might as well head back to town, sell off the goods, and return in due course. Why are these things so heavy anyway? God. Trog maces too. 120 pounds of worth of stuff I got, got with me right now. But any luck we'll be able to make it back. But any luck. Did I get lost? Yeah, I'm lost. There we go. So many goodies here to sell, chat. Some of them, anyway. With all these mushrooms, I would like to make some miner's omelet. So I prefer if I didn't have to cook any of them just yet. Let's go to take a quick nap. Let's do it. Oh, now I'm really heavy. But I just remember it. I have a pocket. I got the big smile on my face. Remembering that. Remembering I had this whole section right here. Big brain move for sure.
Ah, it's daytime. It's only 4.42. We'll probably be able to get back home and sell off these goods and still have time to revisit and complete the dungeon. Assuming we don't get molested by anything, of course. Here's hoping we do not. way for us to get over I guess not interestingly enough there might be a way to the back entrance from here though let's try that see if we can find the back entrance to this place if so it would save us a lot of time I see. I must be getting tired because I've almost found myself barreling off the side of a cliff again. Feeling my eyes start to close. Today was a wacky day, but I think over the, on the whole, we got a lot done. At least from a purely financial standpoint. Now let's see about getting us a back entrance, huh? What the? Oh man. And of course I miss all of my attacks. Yes, great, thanks. Thanks a lot, buddy. I should have just ran. Ah, oh, but saved by another Immaculate. I guess he'll not let me talk to him? Seems like after a certain point, he just never showed up again to be a figure that I can converse with. Which I always thought was kind of sad. Miner's omelet. A water skin with clean water. And a explorer's lantern. Oh, there he is. I hate this accursed region. It's so full of blood and pain, but it bears so much significance to both our species. And so, I visit from time to time, so I never forget.
I've never chosen these options before, so I wonder what happens if I do this. The circumstances of my creation are no one's concern but my own. What am I is a, what I am is alive. Is it my fault that my enemies stir in me an instinctual rage? I avoid contact with them for this very reason. I wish no one any harm. No special gifts for you, friend, but allow me to freely share some knowledge with you instead. Oh. I got a new crafting. Scourge Cocoon. Interesting. What's Scourge Cocoon do? Two Viber eggs, one horror chitin, and one occult remains. Provides excellent rest and recharges the burnt word shirt, but we raise the sleeper's corruption. Hmm. Imagine that. Where are we, chat? Man, this place is confusing. So easy to get lost. Ooh, some mining veins. Unexpected. They're closing in. They're trying to block me off from my escape. Thankfully, we could run past them. This must be the so-called graveyard, huh? It is. Maybe we can orient ourselves as we make it to the clock tower. This area is supposed to be a sanctuary, but look at these creatures. Maybe they won't follow me up here. No, not the dogs. Try and sneak around them, chat.
They're still following after me. Thankfully, I'm pretty goddamn fast, it seems. We're almost to the gates of town, and it's still following me up to now. My god. I made it. Made it in one piece, chap. Need something. My god, they're next to worthless. I should have expected that actually. Oh well. Money is money. Palladium mace. Looks like they have new items every day. Some decent ones around here too. You better have the money. Savage stew? I wish. Why am I so tired? Like, really tired, chat. Ah. Chat, I'm so sorry. 
I just really tired right now. I'm falling. I'm actually finding myself trying to fall asleep. I think we're going to end a little bit earlier than usual for tonight. Or at least find something to do to keep myself awake. Not sure how many people are actually available in chat to just do some just chatting streaming. But as it is, I'm not sure I can in good conscience continue to try and play more outward. My eyes are like falling asleep. We're just to a just chatting stream. Should be getting in the habit of going to sleep a little bit earlier anyway. Not staying up until like 3 in the morning. Which is becoming widespread because my streams typically end at midnight or so. A little bit past midnight. What is with Pocket and all these weird articles they keep spout sending us? I didn't know this was a real thing. I almost spilled over my water. I saw this once in a manga called Green's World, called, uh, not Green's World. Um, I forgot the name of the manga, but it's, it's kind of an isekai, but not really. Basically what happened in the manga was some kid, a whole uh, flight of kids was in a plane and they went through some sort of time vortex and ended up going to a different world of prehistoric monsters and dinosaurs that for some reason were still alive and there were a bunch of like um facilities or whatever on the island and there's this huge mystery of while they're trying of them trying to figure out the what the island was for while also trying to survive it's fairly difficult too and one of the characters it suffers an injury which causes them to be unable to see people's eyes. And because they can't see people's eyes, they're not able to empathize with them as well. And because they can't empathize with them as well, they start in to justify increasingly um, more unethical practices and basically doing a lot worse things than just killing people. It was fairly disturbing. The cure for burnout is not self-care. The fuck is that? The Atlantic always has these strange takes. Probably part of it is probably the fact that these news company, these magazines are trying to get everyone to go back to work in an office. And I don't know why this is becoming such a popular meme theory on the internet. Maybe it's only a thing for boomers because people in my host generation, millennials, don't really think like this. They've been wanting to get out of working in an office for a long time. The quitter keeps their job and chooses to do only the bare minimum rather than go above and beyond. The average person is like that. Almost no one goes above and beyond unless they're getting something out of it. 
Yeah, of course the term is brand new. I don't know who it was that made up this term, but it's fairly dumb. I'd be curious to know how old they were. Or how young they are, I should say. Uh, of course it would be TikTok, huh? Explainers on the topic. Basically the person that they are paying to pretend to be a professional for a few minutes, for a few sound bites. If at least half of Americans fit the definition of quiet quitting, that should probably tell you something about the concept of quiet quitting. It's almost as if it's not a new concept. It's just a concept that they gave a term to now for whatever reason. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> yeah. I expect quiet quitting can be part a part of a lifestyle to prevent burnout or help someone recover from burnout. Burnout begins with unceasing demands and unmeetable goals, the kind that employers thrive on as they squeeze their employees not just for their time and labor, but for their obedience, their humanity, and their souls. A lot of these a lot of those demands are unspoken cultural expectations rather than actual work requirements and they comprise the bullshit that workers abandon when they quiet quit. If we don't abandon the cultural demands that require us to conform in ways that aren't natural to us, burnout progresses as we worry about the gap between who we are and who we are expected to be. When we understand that we will never cross that divide and we see that we truly don't want to be the people that we are told we should be, we are free to understand our worth on our own terms. You know what? I probably should change my opinion on this article. It seems to be in defense of people who, quote unquote, why they quit. There's some strange takes in the Atlantic. I'll tell you all of what. And currently, Twitch is dying is the new meme that's popped that is making its way through Twitter, generating a great deal of outrage YouTube, YouTube videos and outrage Twitter videos. At least until YouTube does something to screw up and distract people from their problems there as well. What the hell? That's funny. I will need to cover Cyberpunk 2077 on this channel eventually. Maybe we can make it a little bit sooner. But October coming up in only a couple of weeks. I'd be interested in playing a variety of, of scary games. Preferably the kind of keep me awake. I don't know what it is about Outward right now. Where we're visiting or this uh, whole new world. But I'm having trouble... Staying awake during it, I guess. Maybe it's just because it's such a stressful game sometimes. And the way it works, so if you're trying to get back home and you die and you just get teleported around the map, especially if it's a new map where I don't know where everything is, so I get lost very easily. Of course, it'd be, I guess, annoying or just kind of difficult to get around.
If it wasn't for the fact that Booth is full of sus content, I'd probably just go shopping right now. I do need to make myself a costume. It's the season, you know? My child. That's cute. Oh, speak of the devil. Looks like Maya is streaming tonight. Go ahead and send y'all over to her. It's been a while since we raided. My R, my pillow. My R. Hello, AI. And I'm the AC. You could probably tell. I feel like I'm going to go to fall asleep in any second here. So we might as well. We'll be using this one, or this raid message. It'll pop on over. Champ. Well, thank you for the raid. Um, with Pegger, Champ, Ron. So let me put Peg in the chat. Champies. Champies. So let me put so put me so let me put Pegger in it. So let me put Pegger in the title. I just changed it. Hey, you can put hash wait, you can put hash tag. Chat. <laughs> oh, or not chat. Um they also were hot tub streams. That's true. Um which speaking of, thinking of the sleepy time right now.